Hi guys, it's Debbie. How you doing? I think I made my camera too low. I'm cutting off the top of my head from my view anyways. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to do a poured painting. Are you surprised? <laughs> anyways, um, as usual, I have all my paints mixed up and I'm ready to go. And um, I, if you have any questions, just put them down below. I'm using acrylic paints all today, and all of them are mixed uh, with some golden. And um, there's a my green one is um, a little thinner than the rest. I kind of like having a couple of them just a little different when I do it, and I like the majority of my paints very thick, milk magnesia thick. So, um, anyways, I'm going to pull you down. I almost stopped the video there. It almost, um, I almost had to start over again. <laughs> so I probably would have just not done this video if it stopped. I've had some problem filming lately. It seems like they want to stop in the middle and I don't know what I'm doing differently. But anyways, um, I am going to use some green and I think this is light blue, but it was dark on top. So, anyways, I'm going to use a little cup that has has some um, yellow, purple, and uh, orange in there. And yellow, purple, orange, and red. And so I think we'll start with some green. What the heck, right? No, it's so thin. It might, I'm going to start with yellow. I'll start with some yellow. Put some yellow on there. So I'm trying to visualize what will look good while I'm doing this. Um, that's a pretty nice bright green, huh? I don't know how strong this one is. I honestly, uh, I can't remember. I think that's a latex, a uh, liquid latex. Ugh. Sorry, I'm just learning to speak. Um, liquid tex green. I think that's what that one is. But. Um, well, this is a dark blue. I mixed up a light blue not, not too long ago. And somebody asked me why am I wiggling them across. I don't know. It's just different. I just thought it's different. So I just thought, well, might as well do it. And, I don't know, lately I've kind of like done it quite a bit, I guess. Okay, because that blue is so dark, I'm just putting a little white on top of it. And look at the green move the white right down in there. Goodbye, white. <laughs> Look at the little cells coming to the top. Okay, so we're having a party in the cup already. I think red, um, a little red might be nice. There. Okay. Now, I, um, depending on what turns out, we'll decide if we need to, um, I was debating on painting this ahead of time, painting, putting a layer of paint on there so the edges would be all done, but I kind of like the challenge of just doing it, you know, adding the color that I need on that edge, so, well, that dark blue really come alive, didn't it? Pretty dark. So I am going to, in just a minute, put a little more color in there. And, ooh, something stuck on there. I, Got a little red in here, so I think I'll and this is white, so I could have added white there. Now before I use up all that little bit that's left, I want to drag some of this into here. I wish it was stronger, and then it seems like when I want it real strong, it's kind of pastel -y. 
Um, Okay, guys, um, I'm going to put some red on the corners here and mix in the cup with a couple little colors that are left in there. Now it's coming out nice bright red, so I think, I think, um, let me think here, I, <laughs> I move too quick and then I mess it up, so I feel like I need something over in here, but I just don't know what I need yet. Maybe just swing some of this red through here. Well, I'll tell you what, for right now, we are just going to, oh, I didn't even realize I had it all run off the edges. You guys got to yell at me. <laughs> Daddy. All right. So, here all my pretty color was running off. I wasn't even aware of it. This is one of the reasons why I don't like watching these videos when they get done. Because I'll see something I'll think, oh, God, I ruined it. So, especially if I see something run off that I think, oh, no, that was nice. I'm concentrating on the wrong side. I'm losing everything on the other side. But here we go. So, okay, so now what am I going to do? I have like two complete different pictures going on there. What do you think? Got a suggestion? Looks like a little bit of a waterfall and a crazy sky, huh? Maybe I should leave it alone. I know what? Let's see what happens with the torch. A big spot of red there. <laughs> What's it doing? I'm trying to decide if I should drag something through it <laughs> uh, before it dries. It looks kind of weird. I don't know if it's out. Looks out of place. Did I dribble on there or something? I think I'm just gonna move some, move it through there a little bit. I didn't like the way that looked. And then, all right, torch, torch. Okay, there we go. It didn't make too big of a difference. There were some more yellow ones that come up. A few more down in here, which is okay. Um, guess what, guys? Uh, the only thing I really am not happy with is having that little bit of red right in there. I think if I move it a little bit right now, it won't be so noticeable later on. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why I felt the urge to do this. Okay. Okay. 
kind of reminds me of a weird waterfall with little bubbles in it. So guys, there's a lot you can do with these. Um, and if you're very careful and don't um, rush like, like I, I do when I'm videoing these, they can turn out you can really make some nice changes, you know, while they're still really wet. I mean, I could come through here and add a little bunch of little things through here. I don't think I'm going to because I don't think it really needs it, but I just felt the urge to do that. And um, I can't tell you what this reminds me of of anything, but anyways, guys, can you see it? Okay. See the little lines I put in there? Anyways, guys, I really appreciate you for stopping by and watching the video. And if you have any questions, put them down below, and I will surely do my best to answer them. And happy painting. Bye-bye.